shores are being burned at an alarming rate. Every year, 30 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide are released into the Earth's atmosphere. This is having a very damaging effect on the world's climate. With coal, oil and gas supplies swindling, the search is on to find a new, cleaner, better source of energy. Scientists all over the world have been searching for a greener, more efficient source of energy. One such energy source is hydrogen, which happens to be the most abundant element in the universe. However, trying to find a way to unlock the potential in hydrogen has been causing problems for researchers. The University of Birmingham is one of the UK's leading research institutions, making an impact on global society with innovative ideas and development into countless fields of research. With a history of research that is acknowledged to be of world-class standard, it is no surprise that the issue of greener fuel is high on the agenda here. At the Materials Lab in the University's Chemistry Department, we met with Dr Slater and his team, who are hard at work finding ways to solve the energy crisis and come up with a solution to this ever-growing problem through the use of solid oxide fuel cells. A solid oxide fuel cell is a device that converts chemical energy directly into electrical energy with minimal emissions. This technology not only has the potential to solve our current energy troubles through the use of hydrogen, but also serves as a more efficient way of converting chemical energy from natural gas whilst minimising the harmful gas emissions that are currently causing damage to our Earth. We met with Dr Slater to find out more about his research. Here we are at the University of Birmingham with one of the professors. We're in, the, in one of the labs of School of Chemistry. Do you mind introducing yourself? I'm uh, one of the uh, lecturers in chemistry and I'm, my research area is solid oxide fuel cells. What is your role in fuel cell research at the University of Birmingham? Okay, here in chemistry we're trying to design new materials that uh, work better than the existing ones and also a lot cheaper than the existing materials. Can you please describe a fuel cell and tell us how it works? Yes, I mean we've got some examples of some fuel cells running here. If I take an example of the components of the fuel cell, yeah. it consists of an electrolyte and two electrodes. You supply fuel to one side, air to the other side, and you get a reaction generating electrons which will go around the circuit providing new electrical power. Fuel cells in general are important because they've got high efficiency, much higher efficiency than conventional electricity generation. And solid oxide fuel cells are particularly important because they offer fuel flexibility so you can run them off natural gas with, for which there's existing infrastructure. What are the challenges that this field of research faces and where would you like this research to be? The challenges are to ensure that the systems last as long as, for example, a, a typical gas boiler because that's what you're looking to replace. It is clear that in the future, solid oxide fuel cells will help to minimise the damage we're causing to our planet and the impact that our current energy consumption habits are having on the environment. It is estimated that by 2015, a third of the new gas boiler market will be taken by solid oxide fuel cells. And with companies like Google, eBay and Amazon beginning to use their, this technology at their data centres, we are well on the way to making a cleaner, brighter future.